When I find time, I'll be putting up videos on practical lessons learned from Kobe that can then be applied to the upcoming Disease X. I was thinking of marketing a t-shirt with say no to Disease X because we've got to preempt this thing because we know it's coming. And if we prepare before and everyone prepared for when it hits, we'll all, everyone already know it's a load of crap. And it'll make it so much more difficult for them to even kick it off. Uh, but I'm sure they won't try the Chinese people falling over in the street. The others go, yeah, nah, nah, that's laughable. Whatever else they come up with, they say they won't be able to take us by surprise like they did with COVID. Um, what I mean, as, as, a, as a population, obviously a lot of us didn't get taken by surprise, but certainly the majority did, and they're not in a mood to be taken by surprise again. Now, in this video, I'm just going to explain the practical ways to avoid the trap that they had for us in the first one, which was hotel quarantines. People were deceived into an unwanted and unjustified contract. I started making this video back in October last year, but I got distracted by the voice and other things. But the lesson is still relevant. And what they were doing back then was they were going after people's bank accounts to get the money that wasn't paid for the hotel quarantines. Now, $40 million, this is in New South Wales alone, was needed to ensure global investors in hotels were not out of pocket during the COVID hoax. I think Queensland did a few extras. Remember, they had um, leased a uh, university student accommodation. I think they did it in Melbourne as well. So that uh, <laughs> the backstory was we put homeless people in there and apparently recent release, anyway, Nothing was ever shown that that even happened, except that they let everyone know that they were paying the rents and covering the property owners. Now, these hotel bills are not fines, so therefore the government isn't going to retract them. <laughs> Worried about if it gets into a court, they caught with their pants down that it was no such thing. There was no evidence that the, the virus was what they said it was. So, of course, they're soldiering on and getting people to pay their bill. Of course, any common sense tells you, well, no one wanted to go in there. They were forced to go in there. But according to them, they were uh, did it voluntarily. They were scared of the virus. and they all. But most people, uh, even after a couple of days, thought, hang on a minute, this is a load of crap. And they had security and the military at the front. People weren't staying in there voluntarily. But for legal reasons, they're referring to it as a bill that needs to be paid. So the lesson for when Disease X comes along and they, they try to pull this crap again is to not consent to their contract offer to stay at a hotel. And instead, not to have your situation heard into court. And I'll, I'll cop any fines and there's incarceration for me to not... not not going to this hotel. They might, might put you up in the same hotel, except you don't have to pay. Now, of course, the courts were just kept entirely out of COVID for four years. Even now, there's no retrospective court cases. Fines have dropped everything. They put them in, in an interesting quandary if en masse, everyone just said, well, no, to hotel quarantine, because they can't incarcerate you. They can't put you before a court. It'd be, it'd be game over that they would have to then say, oh, well, there's no need for, for this one, but we're still continuing on with the event. But that would at least take out that aspect of it. And, and if they do force you into a hotel at gunpoint, all you need to say is, I don't consent, I'm not assisting or resisting, I don't consent, make a record of it. And then when they try to hit you with the bill later on, just go, oh, I never consented to that. The contract is an agreement between two parties and there was no agreement by me and you wouldn't have to pay. Now, what they try and do is what they did during COVID to scare people was to show vision, most of them were actors, of people being roughed up by the cops and then putting the people before the courts for assaulting the cops. <laughs> now, that, that worked on a lot of people, but again, this is a lesson from that, that it was all bullshit and it was mostly acted out. And they're not going to put uh, you know, thousands of people before courts for, for, uh, for God, and they still don't get the money anyway. You're still not in the hotel. <laughs> So, so, yeah, I wouldn't be too worried about the, the bullshit they're going to try and display again. Just actually was quite – people hadn't seen it before, but, again, round two, people are ready. Now, of course, they, in October, I'm pretty sure they still haven't found it yet, haven't found where it came from. Well, I've mentioned many times before, you can't find the origin of something if it doesn't exist. And something that doesn't exist obviously has no evidence of it being there. Hence, no court cases. All right, that's it for this one.